Snake, whatever happens to you, make sure you leave a descendant, okay? Are you saying you want to have my baby? No. I'm saying that in the 21st century, the genes of soldiers like you are going to be in high demand. Genes? Uh-huh. Remember when Watson and Crick discovered the double helix structure of DNA back in 1953? Ah, no. You know, they won the Nobel Prize in Medicine for it the year before last. Of course, you have to feel sorry for Pauling and Franklin. They were researching the exact same thing. Sorry, I don't follow. Inside every living creature are little blueprints called genes. Through the union of the sperm and egg cells, these blueprints are transformed and inherited by the next generation. That's why parents and children resemble each other. The concept of genes was first proposed over a hundred years ago by Mendel, but he didn't know what they were exactly. For a while, it was thought that chromosomes were composed not of deoxyribonucleic acid, but of proteins called polypeptides. Later, it was shown that deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, was a biological macromolecule. Then 11 years ago, Watson and Crick discovered that DNA had a double helix structure. Yeah, this is all fascinating stuff, but what exactly does it have to do with me? The inherent characteristics of any given individual are determined by his or her genes. By duplicating a set of superior genes, a separate body with the same set of characteristics, a clone can be created. But genes don't control a person's fate. That's true. But having an offspring that's genetically identical to the parent is more efficient, right? You can expect better results that way. More efficient? You can't mass produce human beings. Maybe. But now that we know the true nature of genes, human cloning is that much closer to reality. Nuclear transplanting is already theoretically possible. So one day... My genes are going to be a valuable commodity. Exactly. They'd never let that happen. Just think, even if your body dies, you survive and go on to bigger and better accomplishments. If you think about it, it's kind of an honor. Does that kind of technology seriously appeal to you? Well, I am a doctor. Mm. I can't condone it on moral grounds, but I'm fascinated by the possibilities. Especially when I see such an excellent specimen as yourself. Yeah, well, thanks for the compliment, but it doesn't make me feel any better. Don't be so glum. It's not like it's going to happen anytime soon. We'll just have to wait and see.